Now the International Press Conference team, Digital Media Office Management Theory Practice Experience in the ASEAN region will be organized by the Vietnam's Journalist Association on December the 7th. The event is expected to unite ASEAN press to share the situation and solutions for digital media transformation in the region. The workshop included two sessions, namely general theories on digital newsroom management and digital newsroom management, reality, experience and solution. At the event, delegates discussed theories and measures to promote digital transformation in Vietnam and the region. Held by the Vietnam Journalists Association, the event aims to create an open mechanism to share the practices, progress and best methods for digital transformation in media among ASEAN countries. For journalism, digital transformation is the application of digital technology to change content management, operation, production, publishing, content distribution and business models. Now on the evening of December the 7th, the first flight from Manila, Philippines landed at Da Nang International Airport, bringing 177 passengers to visit Da Nang City. The direct flight connecting the capital Manila of the Philippines and Da Nang Central Vietnam was officially inaugurated from the 7th December this year with the frequency of three flights per day on Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. A representative of Cebu Pacific Air said, by expanding the fly network, the Philippines will attract more tourists from new markets such as Central Vietnam. Da Nang is an attractive news destination for Filipinos and the direct fly from Manila to Da Nang will be highly effective contributing to the exchange of visitors from the two markets. Now, 10 more Vietnamese culinary dishes and specialties have been recognized as new Asian records by the Asian Record Organization published the number of Vietnamese items in such categories to cities since 2012. Nominated by the Vietnam Records Organization, Viet Kings, these freshly accredited records include the Saigon bread from Ho Chi Minh City, Marshall rice from Thừa Thiên Huế Province, Phan Thiết hot pot from Binh Thuận Province, vermicelli soup with special broth from Sok Trang Province, green sticky rice from Vong Village in Hanoi, sesame candy from Thừa Thiên Huế, and Dala strawberries from Lâm Đồng Province. Their recognition is in conformity with the Asian culinary and specialty record criteria. Now, the northern province of Hanam has been honored for the first time at the top cultural destination in the World 2023 within the framework of this year's World Travel Awards. To achieve this title, Hanam surpassed many competitors such as Georgetown of Malaysia, Jirokastir of Albany, or Kathmandu Valley of Nepal. Located at the southern gateway of Hanoi, about 65 kilometers from the capital, Hanam is a land rich in potential for the development of spiritual, cultural, ecological, and culinary tourism, boasting historical sites, scenic landscapes, and famous craft villages. The festival season in Hanam usually takes place from January to March every year. On the full moon day of April, that is Buddha's birthday, suitable for tourists to visit the temples. Hanam owns many famous pagodas in the country, such as Tamchuk Pagoda, the Atang Filaitu Pagoda, and Badang Pagoda. In particular, Tamchuk is a vast spiritual scenic area, including Tamchuk Pagoda, known as one of the largest pagodas in the world. Now, goalkeeper Philip Nguyen has become a Vietnamese citizen after completing naturalization procedures late Wednesday, Wednesday in the process qualifying to play for the national team. The 31-year-old keeper for Vietnamese Hanoi Police Club, whose birth name is Philip Nguyen, has become Nguyen Philip in his Vietnamese avatar. He is now likely to get cornered by coach Philippe Trussier 
for the national team for the upcoming training camp and might even get his name in the preliminary list for the Asian Cup to be played next month. The deadline for submitting the list is December the 12th. Born to a Vietnamese father and a church mother, Philip graduated from Sparta Praga's Youth Football Academy and played for the club before moving to other domestic clubs. 78 years old Phạm Thị Ngọc Cầm from Hanoi has become the latest Vietnamese record holder in Aqua Yoga. Cầm was awarded a certificate by Vietnam Record Association as the oldest woman to post eight different floating yoga asanas and spin 80 rounds on water. Under the watchful eyes of Viet King's officials and numerous friends and guests, Phạm Thị Ngọc Cầm successfully completed her mission turning around consecutively before performing beautiful positions, including the lotus, butterfly, a bow, and a tree, all eyes were done while she was floating on water. It's not just a recognition of her setting a record, but also conveys a message to the society. Setting a record at this age affirms that people can absolutely become a record holder at any age, as long as we have enough perseverance to pursue our passion talent and will. I am proud my efforts were acknowledged and delighted to take the prestigious certificate. Born in 1945, Gum was a high school teacher in Hanoi. She retired when she was 49 and learned to swim when she was 62. In 2012, she began performing yoga at the age of 67 and became a yoga instructor.